everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, just a run of the mill millennial with existential dread. <laughs> Try to make that sound fun. Anyway, today's video is going to be a thrift books kind of unboxing. Um, I ordered these a few weeks ago. I don't remember what's in them. I do like to get to the point of my videos right away on this channel instead of talking really long introductions because I don't like when people do those. Something I do want to say though is my eyes have been messing up lately if I wear contacts, specifically my right eye. So I wore contacts yesterday and now my right eye is like all red today. So I think I'm going to have to be a glasses girl for a little while. But my concern is the ring light in the background like reflecting off my glasses. I don't know if that's distracting or not. And I don't know how YouTubers uh, with glasses deal with that. I don't even know if I've really seen YouTubers with glasses. Anyway, we are going to open this first package. Alright, so the first one here is called Tell Me How It Ends, an essay in 40 questions by Valeria Lucelli. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, this is about immigration to the United States and it's something that looks really interesting. I love learning about refugees, immigrants, etc. I'm doing my master's in international relations right now, so that's right up my alley. This one is called Aisha at Last. So this, I believe, is a young adult book about a Muslim girl, and I think she's having some conflicts between having like an arranged marriage and wanting to date somebody. Yeah, so something about a surprise engagement and learning about other families so I just that's again a topic that I'm really interested in and here again very similar topic is called the ungrateful refugee what immigrants never tell you now I don't think this actually has to do with people being ungrateful but I think it's just a lot more about the experiences of people and there are things that like aren't so great about you know, moving to another country and stuff. So it says in here, she calls attention to the harmful way in which Western governments privilege certain dangers over others. Um, and it just, you know, help people understand how we talk about and how we perceive the refugee crisis. This one is called Minor Dramas and Other Catastrophes. So I actually saw this like at the grocery store one day in the book section and I checked the back of it and it sounded really interesting but I just was literally not buying a book at the grocery store because yeah things are just like extra expensive there like non-grocery things are always extra expensive at the grocery store in my opinion and in my experience even like I don't know laundry det detergent and soap and things like that I tend to not buy at the grocery store also I'm looking behind me and I know like um I'm kind of like a wannabe booktuber but um yeah, I don't have a great bookshelf. I am working on that though. <laughs> so this is just kind of like a lighthearted book because I tend to read a lot of like heavier topic type books like the ones that I just showed you. And so this is a nice light topic which I do need to, you know, indulge in those sometimes. So this says when a devoted teacher comes under pressure for her progressive curriculum and a helicopter mom goes viral on social media, two women at odds with each other find themselves in similar predicaments having to battle their way from certain social ruin. So it is very timely, but also, ah, I'm just, I just dropped everything. So it's very timely, but I believe also kind of lighthearted the way it's written. Oh my gosh, you guys, my dog is bringing me her ball because she wants to play fetch look. She just came into the office and she's holding this little ball. Ready? So she might come in and out a few more times because um, she really likes to play fetch. And we've got one more package. Oh, wow, okay. This one has like a lot in it. Guys, what did I order? And let me tell you that I distinctly remember all these books that I got on thrift books. So these four plus the bunch that are in here I got for $66 total. Alright so this one is called Nothing to Envy Ordinary Lives in North Korea. So this woman I understand writes books about a couple different countries and I am very interested in North Korea like I literally have watched every documentary I think that exists on North Korea and this one is supposed to be a particularly good book about North Korea so I grabbed it. This one is definitely a light-hearted book called The Keeper of Lost Things. I think it came up on like my Amazon recommended so and it sounded interesting and I found it on thrift books for cheaper so I grabbed it from there. So basically it's this man who goes around collecting lost objects. You know people drops 
drop things and necklace with this you know knickknacks and he collects them and then he decides that his end of life wish is to return those objects back to their rightful owners and it doesn't it's not too long sounds interesting so there we go so this one is another is a non-fiction it's called bananas how the united fruit company shaped shaped the world so essentially <laughs> she's back in here with her ball oh she walked away so essentially this is you know about american imperialism and how we took over this industry in guatemala um you know it has to do with the cia and a whole bunch of stuff i think it's important to know these things and again getting my master's in international relations that's particularly relevant north korea confidential private markets fashion trends prison camps dissenters and defectors this doesn't need an explanation after i just told you that i am interested in north korea so this one i got because it was kind of like pretty cheap it's called we are here to stay voices of undocumented young adults so i think it's just a bunch of different people's stories and it has some photos you know about coming to america and everything so this will just be a, a nice little reference guide yeah you know, like tra travel caution that shows you photos that are that they run into on their way coming to the united states travel caution smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area Letters to a Christian Nation by Sam Harris. Um, I think it's important to, yeah. I don't want to go into too much of the whole um, politics, I guess, even though my entire TikTok is about politics. But I think it's important to realize that helping people and helping the less fortunate is literally the whole point to this. <laughs> separated inside an American tragedy so this is about families that are separated at the, at the border this was written by a journalist and I personally tend to like books that are written by journalists um, I don't know I guess I just like their writing style and this got a whole bunch of awards so again I think I have to pick a specialization area for my international relations degree and I originally was gonna pick like East Asia so I could study North Korea but I'm starting to think of pick, picking Latin America um, just because I live in the United States is particularly relevant. I can speak a little bit of Spanish and I think I have a much better chance of becoming fluent in Spanish than I do in Korean or really any Asian language, especially the tonal languages because I am quite literally tone deaf. So <laughs> yeah, so that is it. That is my thrift books haul. So that was 11 books. I spent $66. Um, one of them was free because like I had a credit with not a credit so on thrift books if you buy a certain amount of books like the next time you buy from them you can get one book free which obviously is going to be your cheapest book my cheapest book was like four dollars and something so that one was free so yeah that's what I grabbed and I'll see if I'm going to put any on my TBR some of these are going to go right on my TBR and some of them are going to like wait a few months so let me know if you've read any of these if you like any of these or if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe